Hey guys, so I'm playing Need for Speed Underground and uh, Underground 2, and this is actually a goodie but an oldie. So, if you're wondering why I'm playing such an old game, this game was made back in 2004. Is basic reason is this game is pretty unique. So I like racing games. I've got Need for Speed uh, the online um, version. Got a review of that here, and basically, I was just looking for some new racing games to play. And uh, basically, I've heard a lot of good things about Need for Speed Underground 2, and started playing it. And I think it's a fantastic game, despite its age. So, why would you play Need for Speed Underground 2 when it's such an old game? So, this is available on PC and uh, I believe the PlayStation, the original PlayStation. Um, so yeah, what would you play if it's so old? It just it's, it's uniqueness. It's a game that focuses on underground racing and car tuning. So also if you're following my channel, you can see that I've gotten into car tuning myself and um, really appreciating that scene. And you know, a lot of games do have a car tuning aspect to it, but it's not focused in it in the way that this is you got some pretty edgy cars in here um, that you might not see in other other games um, and just some also some a lot of details to this and the tuning and customization of the cars which really makes it a lot of fun instead of just purchasing a, a generic car whether it's a Lamborghini and, and customizing the car to your specific liking so uh, let me just enter here so an example here this is my Mazda Miata, which is a, a chick's car, but I've got some side skirts on here and uh, customized it a little bit, changed up the color and stuff, so just that personalization makes all the difference. But the actual gameplay itself is, is pretty awesome. Um, you know, it comes down to uh, the fact of the matter is that in the last 10 years, racing games haven't really changed that much. I mean, its fundamentals are pretty much the same. You pick cars out, race and you race you know um, you know you have some games that have improved AI like Gran Turismo but for the most part racing is racing so you know even if you play some of the later Need for Speed aside from the graphics there doesn't seem that much difference and um, you know in some some of the Need for Speed graphics in my opinion uh, some versions are not that great Shift. I, I didn't think the graphics were that great. Um, undercover had some great graphics in there. But um, yeah, so this game is uh, it's a great game. You know, you just got really good uh, gameplay aspects. Um, and uh, you know, now the graphics, like I said, you know, they are, are dated, but when you look at it, considering, first of all, from 2002, the graphics were awesome. But they're still pretty good. So I've, I've beefed up these graphics a little bit by using my graphics card and adding some anti-aliasing um, and anthroscopic filtering to in my video card, which beefs it up a little bit more than what the original looked like. But it's still pretty darn good. Like, you know, it's, I don't think it's not playable on the basis of graphics alone. Uh, you still feel pretty immersed in the game. So, Let's take you through a race. I'm going to take you a race through a race with uh, uh, basically my, my slow master Miata. I'm going to uh, use a, a race on a faster car. Do a bit of an exhibition race. So, yeah, even like some of the screens like that. Like the, that's a drag race. So, it's drag race, these are kind of fun. about these ones. You just gotta shift the gears here on time. Surprisingly winning. There's not too many drag racing ones. Ah, frig. So I was saying, I'm not too good at the drag racing ones. I suppose those guys just swam right by me. So 
So like I said, I'm not very good at drag racing. Okay, so needless to say, I got smoked. Okay, so, you know what, let's do a... Um, let's use a better car. I'm going to use this Nissan here. And... You do an exhibition race, which is a much better car here. But yeah, the gameplay is really good. You got some drifting in here, you got some drag racing, you got some circuits, some sprints. Um, you know, and, uh, yeah, it's, it's, just, it's a really good racing game. Um, overall, just, I love the soundtrack. So they've got, they've got uh, some great... Excuse is I'm doing a uh, video review, that's my excuse, I'm sticking with it. Alright, it's a circuit, I can take a catch up. So anyways, um, yeah, what I really like about uh, this game also is the soundtrack. The soundtrack is awesome. They've got like a, uh, a custom song that Snoop Dogg Dog did just for this, this game. And, uh, you know, you got some other unique songs in here that you wouldn't otherwise uh, hear. But it really just adds to the so what I tell you first is don't kill me. Man is doing a video review and racing at the same time. So yeah, I got to see this cold, cold drifting going on here. That was not a drift, so we're going to switch it to a first person mode. So 
yeah, you get extra points based on your margin that you win on. So I think that was a pretty big margin. Anyways, yeah, so I'm looking for a good racing game. Need for Speed Underground to uh, old game, an old but a goodie, but I think it still stands out. Uh, rumors are that there might be a Need for Speed uh, Underground 3, but while you're waiting, might as well check this out. Alright?